Are you a content creator and look at the impact that other content creators, influencers, and celebrities like The Rock, Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, Kylie Jenner, and so much more have made by launching their own CPG brand? And you look and you think, damn, I wish I can do that. Well, in this video, I want to show you exactly why I personally believe you can and you should and the impact that they're making and the ripple effects that it's having in the industry as a whole. If we take a step back and we look at what has the evolution of brands and brands that have grown over time been, and you look at these brands that started way back in the day, like Nestle and Gatorade and so many others, and I'm just looking at the food and beverage space, but in general, alcohol brands, I mean, they have all been controlled by large conglomerates or these multifaceted monster companies that have gobbled up brands and have launched internal brands. And I believe the wave of the future, which is already being seen today and has been for the last few years, is content or creator brands. Creator brands like Terra Mana from The Rock, like Feastables from Mr. Beast, KSI and Logan Paul launching Prime Hydration or Prime in general, so much more. When you look at the impact that they've been able to make in the market and the market awareness, saturation and, and, and land grab that they've been able to have in such a short period of time, Terra Mana from The Rock, tequila brand, has sold over 1 million cases. And for you guys, just to get an idea, when Casa Amigos, George Clooney's brand, was at 500,000 cases, they sold it for a billion dollars. And he just did double that in a single year. What is the value of that brand? Look at how we launched other brands in the energy drink space, etc. And you look at Logan Paul, KSI, the impact they've had with Prime. They're literally giving Gatorade a run for its money, taking massive, massive market share, and already ahead of Powerade, a brand that has also been in the space for many, many years. And then you have celebrity content creators like Kylie Jenner selling out her lipstick in less than 15 minutes. And it's all because of one key aspect. All of these celebrities and creators have garnered a massive, massive, powerful community. And what do brands want? Well, brands want leverage to that community. That's why they've been paying so much and over 93% of brands out there pay influencer marketing because content creators have a higher loyalty rate with their community and their audience. And that is why I believe now more than ever, creator brands are gonna make a massive impact into the future. One of my personal missions over the next three to five years is to help creators launch their own CPG brand and make a dent in the space. Because I believe that content creators long-term should have a business of their own instead of constantly having to lean on brand sponsorship deals. The pain of going from one to the next, not knowing whether that brand is gonna drop you or not, whether the actual connection between the product that you have to promote and being true to your audience starts to dwindle every single time you take a new sponsorship deal that doesn't directly align. I'm not saying they're bad, I'm saying that if the brand sponsorship deal doesn't directly align with the value that you're serving your community and it isn't an authentic collaboration, then shit, you should think twice about doing it because it's probably doing more harm than good. So if you've spent years building up a loyal fan base, a community that trusts you, then I think you need to take a real, real hard look at launching your own CPG brand. Because I believe that the impact that can have as you continue to build out your content and you have your you know, dedication into growing your community and being there for them and can constantly adding value, if you have a physical, tangible product that isn't directly competing with the algorithms, because it's not in the technical world, it's a physical product that sits outside, and no algorithm change can impact the physical product in the real world, whether that's sitting in your e-com store or whether that's actually on a shelf anywhere in the space. So 
Think about CPG. Think about building something for yourself. And actually, all of the dollars that you could be making or that you're losing by them paying you X amount of dollars to leverage so much more. I mean, right now, stats are that for every $1 they're paying in influencer marketing, brands are making $5.2 in return. And those are real stats. So how much money are you leaving on the table by taking a short-term brand sponsorship deal and not actually driving that value to yourself? The long-term effects on that are way, way, way greater. And so the truth is, think about CPG. Think about where's your niche? What value are you providing your community? And how can you give them a product that aligns with your lifestyle, your vision, what you stand for, and how you think you could help them solve a problem? Because if you're not solving a problem for that community, then truly what value are you adding to their lives? Content can help in so many different ways. But when you actually have a physical product, whether that's in food and beverage, whether that's in lifestyle, whether that's in cosmetics, whatever that CPG product is, it will have a direct impact and physical impact on their lives. Yes, my mission over the next three to five years is to help content creators launch their own brands, leverage specifically in the food space by creating better for you snacks. Because I feel that there's two key drivers in the industry, well I know there's two key drivers in the industry when looking at big box retail, like GNCs and vitamin shops, Targets, Walmarts, etc. And the big, big category within those stores are on the go categories, whether that's energy drink, hydration drinks, or drinks in general, quick grab and go item, quick foot traffic driving a customer into the door, and you have a two to three, maybe $4 checkout item. Those are quick, the purchase intent is much easier, and the volume in which they're purchasing is almost daily. On average, People eat 2.5 snacks a day, and they're drinking energy drinks daily, sometimes multiple times a day. And so look at the power that brands like Celsius and all these others have created, the impact right now that energy drink is having in the category. I know for a fact that the next big wave in CPG for content creators is getting involved in a physical functional food that helps drive a benefit to that community that you're serving and you're adding value to. So I hope this video just sparks a little bit of excitement in you, opens your eyes, and shows what these real case studies across, yeah, big content creators are doing, and the difference between how they're generating their revenue and their true long-term value and worth, their equity value in that company, and what you're doing and the impact and the losses you're having by not owning your own brand that you're building and adding value to while you're continuing to do your content strategy. And I think that if those two are not aligned, you're dropping the ball and leaving money on the table. So get very serious about launching your own brand. Look at CPGs, follow my content, like, subscribe. I'm constantly trying to add value into what I believe the creator brands of the future will be and I will try to make as massive impact as I possibly can to do so. See you in the next one.